Alright, so this is the chicken area right here. This is where our sump pump goes, and the sump pump broke, so we need to get a new sump pump and replace it. metal shed we need to deal with. The floor's rotted out. Hey, Are we calling this the... Hey, Bob, say that. Bob, oh, you're so funny. Good morning here on Funny Guy Farm. It's a uh, beautiful spring Monday morning. Spring is in full effect. It's really rather quite beautiful this time of year on the farm. Everything's starting to bud out and blossom. All the fruit trees are leafing. There's buds in the vineyard that are starting to open up. There's birds in the air. This is probably one of my favorite times of year here around the farm. We're sort of in the middle of renovation process of the inside of the house. So there's stuff we have to finish in there, ongoing projects around the farm, things that we've started or like ongoing maintenance that we have to tackle. You know, we're dreamers, like big wish list. Someday we'd like to put this here. It's sort of what we wanted to show you today. Just kind of walk you around. So today on Funny Guy Farm, we're going to make a project list of all the stuff that we need to do. All right, let's walk. See what we have. Yeah. All right, Ziggy. This is my dark room. We moved this shed from our last house. It was kind of an ordeal. It's a complete mess in here. I want to move everything outside. I want to paint the inside. And then I need to clean everything back up, reinstall my enlargers. I think I'd like to paint the outside also. And I probably need to level and secure the bottom that this thing's sitting on. It's a little bouncy in places. This is the road to the upper property. We need to do some maintenance here. As you can see, it's springtime, so we got lots of grass and thistles. Our swimming pool, horse trough, it's going over here. Filter to hook up to it, and we got to build steps and a box to hold the filter. Gravel to keep the weeds down and to level out. Okay, the vineyard's looking really nice right now. It's springtime. Everything's starting to leaf out. The buds are breaking on the vines. We've got a lot to do though. The grass is tall, needs to be weed whacked and mowed. This is the uh, outside perimeter of the vineyard. We've got a whole bunch of red wine grapes, olives, assorted fruit trees and whatnot. This is like low on the list probably, but in ultimate fantasy world, I think we'd like to take this fence out and move it out here, maybe just like a foot or so, because all these uh, olive trees were planted right up against the, f the fence line and they're now starting to get so big it's really hard to prune them and maintain them and cut them. The whole vineyard could actually like we could bump out the fence a little bit just to like give it a little bit more room. This is the inside of the vineyard and as you can see we need to mow like desperately need to mow. What I want to show you is this arbor we got put in when we got married here like eight years ago or something and we just got some separation from things getting wet and moving over time. We've got this metal shed we need to deal with. The floor is rotted out and we haven't quite decided if we're going to just demo it or repurpose it. I'd like to get rid of it and put some fruit trees in there, a couple apple trees or another olive tree in that space. We took the nets off of the vines at the end of last year and we rolled them up and left the nets at the end of each row but we we want to put a number to the net and to the row that way we can keep everything straight. We have a lot of tree maintenance on the farm so this is just like an ongoing tree project. We've got to buck it all up and cut it into pieces and um, burn all the branches so this is ongoing. We started this treehouse project many years ago and we never really finished it and I think we're going to actually build another treehouse but down in the lower section by the kids playground. I think it's a better spot. We took out some trees here to open up the light in here for the vineyard. So we still have a lot of work to do to clean all this up. Okay, we're walking to the top of the property now. This is what we call the top of the hill. The bigger picture is that at some point down the road, maybe 10 years from now, we'd uh, build a bigger house up here. We, uh, we talk at this point about just getting a, a prefab or something. It's been so much work to remodel the house down below that we're like, Boy, someday we'll just drop a prefab up at the top of the hill and we'll just move up here and retire. This is our outdoor shower. It's pretty awesome. It's gotten a lot of use over the years, but it could use a freshen up right now. We wanted to move the water tank a little bit further down the hill here. That way we could set up some gutters and uh, collect a little bit of rainwater into it. 
All right, so here's the inside of the shower, outdoor shower. The uh, on-demand hot water heater just kind of crapped out on us last time we were using it, and so I don't even think I can fix it. I think we just got to get another one of those. But this whole thing is beautiful. We just need to clean it up, fix it up again, and get it back into use. This Bolin's tractor is awesome. I brought it up here to kind of clear some of the land. I got the uh, the tiller on the back of it, but I uh, the cotter, I like lost the cotter pin, and so it's a little loose. I got to find a new cotter pin to reconnect the tiller, and then I need to bring it back down the hill. So this is our little camp out hangout spot at the top of the hill here. It's pretty awesome. We come up here, we camp out, we watch the stars, watch the sunset, have a glass of wine, have a fire. It's kind of a mess there right now. We need to clean it up. There's just wood scraps and a little bit of trash and stuff. There's there's a lot of shit to do around here and it kind of got away from us. These hammocks have been here since 2018. We got to take these down. This oak tree is quite overgrown. It's hanging over the roof of my studio here and onto the dark room. We need to prune some of this back at the very least. There's probably some big limbs in here that could get taken out. This tree here fell down, I think two winters ago now and kind of like split in this funny way. So we got to deal with this too. Oak tree fell over a couple winters ago. We've got all of it bucked up into these logs here, but we need to rent a log splitter and split it into firewood pieces and stack it up on a couple of pallets here so it can start curing and drying so we can burn it in the house for heat. The oak tree fell through here a couple winters ago. It took out some smaller trees and took out this fence here. So I've slowly been trying to clean up this area. We're gonna take out the rest of the fence pieces, pull out the stump somehow or another. This is our riding lawnmower. It's not working. Got to get a new battery or something for it because we really need to mow. This is the kid area right here. We kind of already set up the trampoline and the dome here, but we need to kind of clean it up a little bit more. And then Finn also requested a tree house down there. And we also set up these swings for them. This is the kids' little swing area. They love it. They can run up the hill and push themselves. We want to kind of clean this up and make more of like a pathway to connect the upper and the lower rec area. Two or three steps right here and then just clean up through here. And then there's actually already a little step over here down. So we just want to clean this up. Please take these out. You never used to be, be able to come up here this way. So we've slowly been taking it back, but we've got a little bit more work to do. Bunch of brush here and we cleaned this up and took out a section of the fence and we want to plant these olives here and maybe some other cactus just to kind of dress it up a little bit. We got a log splitter in December and split a whole bunch of this wood and now we've got to stack it over here um, out of the rain. The pomegranate tree, as you can see it's not really, it doesn't have a lot of space for itself and it doesn't get a ton of light so we want to move this guy probably up there. Before this tree fell down last winter provided a lot of shade and privacy to the back side of the house here from the road. But we need to plant a couple new trees or some hedges right along here just to give us a little bit more privacy from the road. This is one of two huge mounds on the property that we have to remove or smooth out but deal with for sure. This is the second mound of dirt right here. It runs from up there kind of to down here. This is Finn's fort. <laughs> I think we should just leave it. It's pretty cool. It's permanent installation. This is a compost pile we've just been using for now, temporary. We'll probably just put some walls around it, call it good. We're over here at the chicken coop. We installed this PVC gutter, but as you can see, we need to finish it and hook it up to a water catch so that then we can do a gravity fed automatic waterer for the chickens. We've got uh, some more wood here that we need to split into firewood and then we'll stack it up on these pallets so it can start curing. The uh, When this tree fell down it took out all the fencing in here so we need to refence in this area and just kind of clean and tidy everything up. Outdoor pizza oven. This is our outdoor patio dining room table. It's a beautiful table but it could use a good sanding and refinishing with some fresh varnish. This is all the tile for the floor in the kitchen. This is our kind of supply area, and as you can see, it needs a lot of work. There's tractors, tile, wood, um, firewood, conduit, all kinds of stuff in here that needs to get organized and gone through. This is our espresso machine. We've got to install a 220 plug for it and connect it to the water line to get it to work again. This is the front patio. It wouldn't take much to just clean it up a little bit. Another chair there, some plants, get rid of all this junk, and this would be a nice place to hang out. These are all the appliances for the kitchen remodel. This is the cabinets for the kitchen as well. See this broken branch here? We need to just do some pruning and kind of just clean up and thin everything out. 
This is the lower corral. Someday we hope to plant more wine grapes, olive trees, and apple trees down here. This is my studio. We need to insulate and sheet rock the walls. This is the tool shed. It's kind of been an ongoing project, just thinning it out and keeping it clean. This is a brand new garbage disposal that we installed in the house probably six months ago because the old one died. We just took this out because we completely gutted and demoed the kitchen. So when we build a new kitchen with new cabinets and a new sink, we'll put this garbage disposal back inside. This is our Rubbermaid shed. It holds basically everything from our old house that we haven't unpacked yet. So after we finish the renovations, we'll be able to unload all this. This is the wine room. All this wine needs to be racked and bottled. These are our salt cured olives. We need to dump out all this salt water and give them a fresh batch of salt brine. This is our olive oil. It needs to be bottled and sealed. So in here, a lot. Rip up the floors, tile the floors, install the new cabinets, install the new appliances, and paint. Main bathroom, almost finished. Have to clean everything up, finish the cabinets here and here, and the pocket door. Finish this with the hardware. Paint, everything. Take up all this wood floor, replace it with tile floor, including the fireplace. So disconnect the fireplace, tile, put the fireplace back, paint everything. This is my makeshift laundry line. Our dryer went out. This is the mudroom. In here we need to fix the dryer, the heating element, finish the trim, sand and paint. We need a funny guy farm sign for our gate. This is where the raised beds are gonna go and this whole area is gonna be our vegetable garden. This is where our sump pump goes and the sump pump broke. So we need to get a new sump pump and replace it. There's a massive amount of trees on the property that have already fallen down. Some of it we've split. This stuff needs to be bucked into small logs, split into firewood, and brought over the firewood pile. Everybody, where everything's gonna go. Where everything's gonna go at the farm? Yeah. What do you mean where everything's gonna go? You know, like our hopes and our dreams, and then also like things we're working on and things we started, and then things that we just gotta like do general maintenance on because it's a farm. We have so much stuff to do right now. To be totally honest, the farm is in crazy shape right now. Basically at this point, we just have to finish the kitchen. In addition to the remodels, we have kinds of other projects around the property. General maintenance to the property, brush and tree clearing, fire preventative maintenance. Nature takes it over. So we've got a lot to do just cause like, it's, it's wild up here, it's rugged like the Sierras. Like nature will take things back. Wood that needs to be stacked, paths that need to be constructed. And it's a bit overwhelming to be totally honest. Katie and I regularly every week or every other week will have a coffee business meeting kind of morning. And we make a list of everything we have to do here at Funny Guy Farm. Funny Guy Farm project list. It's so messy. There's so much to do around here.